Creating Extraordinary is what she did. Joyce Ann Clayton was born in the Timberlake community of northern Durham County, North Carolina, a farm girl in a rural country environment. She married at age 16, became Mrs. Thorpe, but finished high school. Then she attended beauty college. But extraordinary people in the making are noticed. Joyce was encouraged to go to college. She attended North Carolina College studying psychology until her finances ran out. But she did not stop. She graduated from North Carolina College in 1965. That year, Thorpe received a scholarship to study nursing at Durham Technical Community College. She earned the LPN License Practical Nurse Degree in 1966. Her outstanding skills and interest in medicine opened the way to employment at Duke Hospital Cardiac Care Unit, where she worked for five years. The Physician Assistant PA program originated at Duke University in October 1965. Students were male and mostly former Navy corpsmen. It was rigorous and demanding, but Joyce, now remarried and Mrs. Nichols, wanted in. She applied three times. Despite denials, Nichols never took no as the final answer. She persuaded and convinced program operatives to give her a chance. She was in as a member of the third PA class. She had to fight to receive the same stipend the men got. Her abilities and personality won over faculty and fellow students. Though academically challenging, Nichols rose from next to last to the top 50% of her class. She was elected vice president of the all-male class. Nichols graduated in 1970. She was the first woman and the first black woman to graduate from the physician assistant program. After graduation, Nichols decided that what she really wanted was to give back to the rural communities that supported her and her family. She established a clinic in Rougemont and Bahama, providing preventive health care. Funding, unfortunately, only allowed her to stay for two years. In 1972, Nichols joined the staff at Lincoln Community Health Center and worked there for 23 years, she also continued providing health care for rural communities. She was passionate about the profession and understood the work that needed to be done. Nichols was an unstoppable advocate, teacher, and organizer. She was often recognized for her outstanding contributions. The Joyce Nichols Memorial Scholarship was established to support future black physician assistants. Recently in the news, the Durham Housing Authority announced that a new senior center housing facility would honor Joyce Nichols by naming it the Joyce. In addition to her outstanding support for the authority, serving as a DHA board commissioner, Nichols' roots with them are deep. In the mid-1960s, Joyce Tharp, had to move into McDougal Terrace Public Housing. Nichols was evicted three days after she challenged the Housing Authority for the substandard conditions in McDougal Terrace on behalf of women in the Mother's Club. 
The group under Nichols' leadership was organized to hold DAJ accountable for issues they were experiencing on the property. The manager said she didn't have to tell me why I had to move. I just had to move, Nichols said in a Duke interview. So I got rebellious and I said, I'm not moving. I'm not going anywhere. And she stayed. While the North Carolina Court of Appeals and the Supreme Court of North Carolina affirmed the eviction, Nichols appealed the decision and her case ended up in the United States Supreme Court. Around that time, the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development issued a notice stating that all evicted tenants should be told the reason for their eviction. As a board member of the Housing Authority, the balance of her life, Nichols won many legal concessions for tenants. Joyce Nichols, yes, she did. This is who we are.